Hello, my name is Jan Mattes. I'm Chief Product Owner of SAP Signavio Process Insights. And I now will give you a quick overview about Process Insights and uh, how to leverage process analysis. So many people know that cash is king, but it's even harder to find out how to come, become royal. And I will now basically explain how, what role cash is playing in your company. It's something like comparable to your um, electric car, basically. You have energy going out, you have energy going in, and you have uh, uh, probably a frequency uh, for charging. And same is the case for your company. You have money going out, you have cash going in, and you might uh, want to reduce the amount of cash which is bound to um, inventory. And uh, in a quick demo, I will show you how to optimize those three areas very quickly. So this is Process Insights, and uh, it offers you a wide range of all process flows in your company. And the easiest way to dig into a certain topic like day sales outstanding and days payables outstanding is to go via the start page. So let me dig into the finance area. For instance, you see there is 41 process flows. If I dig into that, you might be overwhelmed a bit and see, wow, this is really a huge amount. But the system helps you basically by uh, providing you so-called value drivers, like improved days payable outstanding. That's exactly the topic I want to go into. I want to have more liquidity for my company and now look first on the money which is going out. And I find here the process flows for um, uh, which are relevant for improving that KPI. And uh, if I dig into that, then I find basically, for instance, the supplier invoice issuing without purchase, with purchase orders. And what I see here is how many documents I've created and how many basically end up in the process. I also see the lead time here. So uh, if I click into that, I see the 284 days um, until uh, basically um, the payments go out. This is something um, I might want to optimize. And um, what I can also see here right away is if I expand basically, then I see also the blockers, which are in each of the process stages. Let me click now into one here. That's the blocking for clearing. That basically blocks and increases or reduces my liquidity in the company. And what I see here, basically, there is one step, one blocker, which tells me that uh, the due date of those items have been in the past. And I can analyze this now even further and basically drill down by document type, or by company code to understand which areas of my business have um, a certain blockage here and how can I go uh, basically to, to improve that. And for that, we also make really tangible, um, helpful uh, proposals. So if you go back now into the um, overview, uh, then we see that there are not only performance indicators like uh, how many um, what is your automation rate for supplier invoice clearing, but also um, the KPI for tracking how many payment runs are being executed for company codes. And even more, I find correction recommendations. And as you see, I'm still filtering only on the um, correction recommendations, which improve my days, days payable outstanding. And um, I find here a couple of uh, still, which tells me, uh, wow, there's lots of things to be done. I see um, uh, basically also what effort is behind that to optimize that. And if I sort here basically ascending, then I find here something which a moderate effort. And if I click into that, then I see three company codes um, were found, which uh, had no more than two payment runs in average uh, per week. And that is something I can easily change. If I click into that here, I see the recommendation um, and I see basically that um, optimizing my payments run that they, for instance, run daily will increase my liquidity. And it's basically a moderate invest, um, basically, uh, because I just need to um, instruct the users to use the daily payment using transaction F110. So that's the one part of the equation, that's the day's payable outstanding. Let's now dig into uh, another uh, line of our business. Let's go into sales, basically, and look into how many, how quickly money comes in. And uh, that's the day's sales outstanding. So the amount 
it takes until my customers pay their bills. Again, we have here process flows, which tell me uh, where my uh, documents are, what processes perform well. And um, again, I can select here the improvement opportunities. So let's go for the DSO, Days Sales Outstanding. And then if I zoom in, I find again a very uh, helpful picture which tells me, oh, wow, these blockers prevent me from earning my money, from getting realizing my money quicker and having more liquidity because I get the money paid. For instance, uh, here are 12% uh, of the items are cleared after the net due date. And again, I could now break down and filter and go into the details, find out the company codes, uh, the documents assignments, the payers, which um, uh, would be responsible. And of course, I can then also filter um, and sort out certain topics which are not relevant for me. Let's now go into the final area, which is the um, supply chain. Here it's the uh, days uh, in inventory. Uh, you understand the point. Uh, the more inventory I have, the more of my capital is bound into stock, which I should be using. And here now with the process flows, I can analyze the level of raw materials uh, may they be uh, finished or semi-finished, or may, may they be sellable? Um, and basically, I can then uh, again drill down how many items and how many um, uh, capital is bound by that um, uh, materials that I have. Again, I can select here the improvement opportunity. So let's say reduce stock levels for certain combinations. And if I'm not really an expert in the supply chain management, then I have something uh, for you here as well. That's the reference guides we have for all those topics. Here in those reference guides, you see basically what um, uh, stock level for sellable materials means. It's part um, of um, uh, an, a guided analysis, analysis which tells me basically uh, what improvement opportunities I have and uh, what uh, changes I might be doing and what uh, I can do basically for analyzing that I, the data that I have captured in my systems. So um, I hope you like what you've seen so far. far. Let me quickly um, summarize what I explained. Um, process insights and process intelligence from Signavio are the easiest way to analyze and mine your day's payable outstanding, day's sales outstanding, and day's inventory outstanding. Um, you can use process insights as the quick out-of-the-box solution, which allows you basically to analyze your product as uh, your SAP products um, out of the box uh, in days without having uh, um, a big effort to um, analyze your data. Um, and finally, you can then use process intelligence as um, the um, solution to analyze any um, business application you might be having, might it be SAP or non-SAP. I hope you like what you've seen and stay tuned for more videos.